Imagine that your mother was all you had throughout your life. Therefore, when a woman falls ill and ends up leaving this world, you begin to have your sanity compromised for example, you write letters and wait for answers from your beloved mother. One night, you hear her calling you and asking to be picked up from where she is, so you go to the cemetery and take her from her rest. After this moment, everything was done to try to rebuild his mother and even find a wife to introduce her to, but who in normal mental conditions would want to live with a crazy person? I'm Lancelot and in today's movie recap we will watch Deranged. The story is based on real events, and it begins with the narrator telling us what the life of Ezra, our protagonist, was like. The man and his mother took care of the family farm together his father left this world when he was just a 10-year-old boy. Thus, the two created a dependent relationship over the years, and Amanda suffered a cardiac arrest at a certain point in her life, which left her bedridden and unable to move from the waist down. So Ezra took care of her every day until she left. Amanda knew her time had come, so she told her son her preferences. If he needed help, his mother instructed him to call an old friend named Maureen the woman didn't trust anyone else other than her. Amanda always reminds him that the price of sin is the diseases that are transmitted through intimacy with a woman and death. After his mother passed away, at her funeral, it was clear that the man wasn't doing very well, but the few people around him didn't realize that, even when he said that his mother was just sleeping in the coffin. After a year that Amanda was gone, her son still hadn't accepted her departure and kept her room warm in the way she liked it he even wrote letters to her. He started doing odd jobs, fixing small things for people in the neighborhood, but mainly for his childhood friend, who supported him throughout his life. One night, the man reached a level of insanity and heard his mother calling him, asking him to take her home, and the protagonist answered her request. However, his mother's body was no longer the same, given the time she was underground, so the man dedicated himself to trying to rebuild it. The man was trying to use fabric that looked like human skin, but it wasn't enough, so after a lady left this world who was once his teacher, he decided that she would help him in the process of becoming his mother. And so the man gave Amanda a face. Sometimes we wonder has this person never given a signal to others? It turns out that Ezra was open about the things he did with his friend he had even commented that he could take the lady's head to help him make some repairs, but the man took it in a joking tone. After a while, his friend was worried about Ezra. He and his wife thought about introducing him to a woman, and suddenly he might even find one to marry. However, the man remembered what his mother said about only trusting Maureen, so the protagonist thought it was time to go visit her. Their meeting went even better than he could have imagined. Maureen was also a little crazy, and when the man said he talked to his mother, she thought it was the same as when she talked to her husband in a seance and invited him to come back in a few days for the two of them to talk to her husband and Amanda. At home, Ezra tells his mother how the meeting went and says that when he returns, he will take protection with him in case he ends up trapped under Maureen's fat. We see in the next scene the session that she had invited the protagonist to participate in. The woman says that her husband has a request, which is for Ezra to do that with his wife. The man even agrees to fulfill this wish however, when they are preparing, he remembers what his mother said about the price of sin and decides to take the protection he had taken to the place, a gun. So Maureen ended up losing her life. After what happened, the protagonist continued his life normally, but now he was looking for a female companion and fell in love with a woman who worked in a bar named Mary. The man began to frequent the place to try to create closeness with her, never revealing her true intentions. One night, the man was outside the bar and punctured Mary's car tire, so when the woman left to leave, he offered her a ride. On the way, Mary realizes that the protagonist is not going to the city and tells him. The man then says that he will go to the farm to get a tire, and he will exchange it for the one that is flat so that she can take her car to the house. The woman accepts, but asks him to promise that he won't try to do anything to her. When they arrive at the farm, Mary waits in the car, as the man promised he would try to hurry. However, it starts to get later and later, and Ezra still hasn't returned, so the woman decides to enter the house to look for him. She finds a completely dirty place, but it gets even worse when she enters the room and finds the companions that the man had unearthed. He is sitting next to them, with someone's hair and a face that is not his on his face, nor clothes that are his. 
Of course, Mary already understood at this point in the championship that the man doesn't think very well and runs to try to save her life, but he catches her. The woman wakes up and is no longer wearing the clothes she was wearing. The protagonist takes her to the dining room and says he prepared a beautiful table for her. The man's company surrounds her. Ezra wants to make her his wife, and Mary tries to do everything she can to stay calm she just wants to get out of there. At one point, the woman manages to convince him to remove the restraints from his arms and distracts him by hugging him while she picks up a bottle that was on the table to hit his head. As soon as she breaks away from the protagonist, she uses her body to protect herself and throws herself on top of Ezra. She tries to leave through the residence's doors, but they all seem to be locked. Then the man finds her, and with a femur in his hands, he takes her life. In the next few days, Mary's disappearance was reported in the newspaper, and Ezra's friend told him about it. The man said that the woman was at his house, keeping him company, but his friend didn't believe it. His son took a friend home called Sally. She works in a little shop that sells hunting products, but she made it clear to the two older men in the room that the girl particularly doesn't like this practice very much. The protagonist goes to the store where Sally works the next day and ends up finding his friend and son there. The two are preparing to go on a hunt and have collected artifacts that will help them. Before continuing to their destination, they ask if Ezra doesn't want to go along, but the man says he will continue his shopping. When Sally was alone with the protagonist in the store, she had no idea what was about to happen. The man picked up a gun that was on display, loaded it, and then aimed at her. In the next scene, we see the girl waking up in the back of Ezra's truck. The girl tries to escape through the forest however, as it is hunting season, the place is full of traps, and she ends up trapped in one. So the protagonist recovers her, but takes her to the farm, already lifeless. When the man's friend and his son return to the store to see the girl, they find her glasses on the floor and blood on her things, so they call the sheriff. His friend doesn't think Ezra is a suspect, but the sheriff says to go to his farm just to check the place out. When they arrive, they find Sally's body in the barn and the protagonist inside the house covered in blood, appearing to be more insane. And a few nights after everything Ezra did was discovered, some people went to his farm and burned it down. What did you think of this film? I hope you liked the summary. Leave your suggestions in the comments and subscribe. If you liked the video, like and share to help me until next time.